Okay, in this video we're going to look at example 9 and 10 and this is where you've got to um, figure out what size nest egg you want for a particular desired um, retirement income per month. Okay, And for that we're going to look at this formula the nest egg needed equals annuity payment goal times this over this. Okay, So we've just looked at how to get the annuity payment um, if, you, if you know your nest egg is $100,000 you can calculate how much that will give you per month but um, if we kind of a uh, little bit of algebra reverse this formula if you, if you have a, a goal in mind such as example 9 you want to have 3000 per month when you retire if you can put the 3000 in here and calculate how much you need to save the big uh, what lump sum of money you need to save like hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars or whatever right so we'll look at example nine you plan to work for 35 years and then retire using a 25 year annuity you want to arrange a retirement income of three thousand dollars per month you have access to an account that pays an APR of 3.6% compounded monthly. What size nest egg? What size nest egg do you need to achieve the desired monthly yield? Desired monthly yield means the uh, $3,000 paid per month by the retirement account. Okay. So our nest egg needed goes into this formula, right? Uh, it can, can be calculated using this formula. I mean, so it's the annuity payment goal, which is three thousand dollars per month. Okay, times, and then we plug in R and T. So what we've got to do is carefully calculate what the what R and T are, so that we don't make a mistake there. So R equals what? Now remember R is the monthly interest rate, the interest rate each month. So what is that? The annual percentage rate is 3.6 percent, which is 0 0.036, isn't it? So R is going to be 0 0.036 divided by 12, right? Which is? 0.003. Uh, also in this formula we need 1 plus r, so might as well write that down. What is 1 plus r equal to? 1.003. And what is t equal to? t is the term of the annuity number of months. Um, so there's something we might make a mistake on, so think about that. Uh, how do you calculate T? You plan to work for 35 years and then retire using a 25 year annuity. So for 35 years you're working, earning, earning, earning until eventually you have your nest egg saved up, let's say $200,000. And then for 25 years you're retired, you're not working, and this lump sum is paying out 3000 a month, gradually. Okay, each month paying out. So what T do we use? What's the term of the annuity? Okay. So an annuity, once again, is an arrangement that withdraws both principal and interest uh, and the interest earned each month. Okay. So the annuity means the retirement scheme, you know. So the term of the annuity means how long you're going to be retired for is what that means. So how long are you going to be retired for? Well 25 years but how many months is that? Because we're always calculating in months aren't we? 25 times 12 right? Which is 300 right? So t equals 300 so we plug in our numbers so we've, we've got annuity payment goal 3000 times 1 plus r to the power of t. Now 1 plus r is 1.003 and t is 300. So isn't that 1.003 to the power of 300? Okay, and then subtract 1 all over 
r times 1 plus r to the power of t. What's that? 0 0.003 times 1.003 to the power of 300. Does that make sense? And I like to put a parenthesis at the bottom of the fraction for anyone who wants to calculate all of this in one go and just press enter. You must make sure, if you do that on your calculator, make sure to put parentheses around the bottom of the fraction. Okay. So um, go ahead and press pause now and calculate the top of the fraction and see if we both get the same answer. And then we'll do the bottom together. So we'll do the top first. So if I'm using a simple calculator, right, uh, so I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do, do it now. So if you're using a simple calculator, right, you got to think about PEMDAS, uh, order of operations, right? Order of operations. So what do you do first? You do parentheses first. So we've got to do the parentheses, and inside there we have an exponent and a subtract. So we would do exponents, right? So the first thing you do is 1.003 to the power of 300 equals that, then subtract 1. Okay, so you have this number, this whole thing, and then multiply by the 3000. So times 3000 equals that, okay? So that number goes on the top. Oh, sorry, 436, 8.874, 8 uh, and then calculate the bottom. So press pause and calculate the bottom, and then I'll do it and we'll check our answers. Okay, so I hope you press pause and tried it, and again on the bottom we have an exponent and we have a multiply. So what do we do first? If you look at order of operations PEMDAS, you got to do exponents first, right? So 1.003 to the power of 300 equals that, and then multiply that by 0 0.003, and that equals um, this number here. <laughs> and on my calculator, um, I've got a, a negative uh, 0 0.03. So let me just show you what that is. 7.36, right? And that that's actually times 10 to the power of negative 3, which means I need to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3 spaces over here. Because this number is in fact um, 0 point, and I've, I've put in a couple of zeros also, so it's point zero zero, right? 0 0.00, right? 0.00736 eight eight seven four five that'll be plenty of digits there and then we calculate that right so four three six eight point eight seven four five one three divided by point zero zero seven three six eight eight seven four five equals that number, right? So dividing that we should get um, 592882.238 uh, etc. So what we're going to do is that big number there is represents your nest egg, you know? So why don't we round that one to the nearest dollar? Okay, that's a big number there. We'll round that to the, that to the nearest dollar and what do we get to the nearest dollar? Not to the nearest cent, but to the nearest dollar. That would be five hundred ninety-two thousand eight hundred eighty-two dollars, right? Okay, so the next part of question nine is what monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement? In other words, um, okay, so we want 3,000 a month when, we're, when we retire. If 
Fine. So that means we have to raise almost $600,000 while we work. So now the question is, how much do we need to save every month in order to get six, about six, almost $600,000 or $592,000, right? Well, what formula do we have to figure that one out? Have we done something recently? Can you think of anything? So if we look back, we'll find a deposit needed formula, which if you know how much you want to save, that'll tell you how much you need to deposit every month to get the goal or the balance that you're looking for, right? So we'll go to our question now and it says, what monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement? In other words, and okay, a desired monthly yield, but to achieve what we want to achieve um, is, th what's that big number we just calculated? What we want to achieve is, um, this is what we want to achieve, $592,882. Okay, that's what we want to achieve. And this will give us 3000 a month. So we know that. We know if, I, if we save this when we're 65 or whatever, um, it will give us 3000 a month for 25 years. Okay, So how much do we need to save a month each month while we're working to get that? That's the question. So the deposit needed formula is what we need. So deposit or the monthly, let's call it the monthly deposit needed equals the goal and our goal is five hundred ninety two thousand eight hundred eighty two dollars times R all over this thing now what we have to do is calculate R the monthly interest rate and then get one plus R and of course we have to calculate T and understand what that means so let's have a look at the question here now the question is um, is this. So we're talking, if we just take R to begin with, we're talking about an annual percentage rate of 3.6% compounded monthly. And we're, that applies to, like, once we have this in our account and we're retired, yet the 3.6% applies to that. But it also applies while we're working. So we're thinking about this in very general terms, that this might in fact be the average APR in an account over you know thir or let's say 35 years working and 25 years retired so that's over the whole um, 60 year span the average APR is going to be 3.6 percent which of course in, in real life that's unrealistic that's going to stay the same but just for the sake of argument just for the sake of a, of a, of a calculation we're going to assume that so if um, the, so the the word R of course is the monthly interest rate and um, that, of course, is, as we've seen before, 0 0.036 over 12, which is 0 0.003, and 1 plus R is 1.003, right? But T, what's the T in this formula? There is, a, there is a good question. What this formula is going to calculate, it's going to say, right, you want this amount of money, and where it'll it'll figure out what your monthly deposit needs to be what you need to put into the bank each month to get that okay so what does this t stand for this t here for the deposit uh, is the number of months that you are uh saving basically number of months that you're saving money okay and what is the number of months we're saving money in this question you're gonna work for 35 years 
that's when you're saving for the nest egg, right? That's the goal, the nest egg here, right? So we're going to work for 35 years, and of course, got to times that by 12. Sorry, 12, not 10. Okay, so t equals. If you multiply that, 420, right? So we have t is 420, we have r, we have 1 plus r, so we just need to plug it into the deposit needed formula. So r is 0 0.003, and it's all over 1 plus r to the power of t, 1.003 to the power of 420, then subtract 1, okay? So we're going to carefully calculate that and um, see how that goes, okay? So 5, 592882 times 0 0.003 equals 1778.2. Six four six, and the bottom is this. So we'll calculate the top and bottom, then divide. So one point zero zero three to the power of um, four twenty equals three point five one eight seven, etc. Then subtract one to get two point five one eight seven seven. Two point five one eight seven seven. Um, 8004. Okay. So then divide these numbers. And we have 706.14, right? 0.1543. 706.15 for 3, etc. So, what we've come up with is our monthly deposit needed, and let's round that one to the nearest cent. What would you get if you rounded that to the nearest cent? 706.15. Okay, so here we go. If we deposit $706.15 um, every month while we work, and that's going to be 35 years, we should come up with this nest egg amount. Okay, And then if we come up with this nest egg amount and we live for another 25 years, it should give us $3,000 per month. All right? So that's, that's the whole idea there. So please try example 10, and by all means you can uh, try and do the whole thing yourself. Press pause and try that, or otherwise I'll do it step by step anyway. Okay. So example 10, you are 25 years old now and you plan to retire at age 65. You want to have a monthly income of 2800 from a fixed term annuity when you retire. Take the term of the annuity to be 22 years and assume an APR of 2.7%. How large will your nest egg have to be at retirement to guarantee the income described above? And then, what monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement? In other words, to achieve the nest egg that you're going to figure out here. Okay. So, to achieve the nest egg amount. Okay. So, let's start with this one. And by all means, press pause and try it if you want. But I'm just going to do it step by step for those who need extra help. So how large will your nest egg have to be? So we're going to use this formula that the nest egg needed equals the annuity payment goal. What do we want to happen? You want to have, you want to have a monthly income of $2,800 when you retire. Okay. Times this stuff over this stuff, right? So what we need to calculate these is we need R, we need 1 plus R, and we need T. Press pause and calculate each one of those.
and then check the video and see how you, how you, how you get on. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause to try it. This is the time to make a mistake. This is the time to try it yourself. Try it yourself, think about it, make a mistake, and then just watch the video and you'll learn something and hopefully the homework will be a little bit more smooth. So R is supposed to be monthly interest rate, which means we take the annual percentage rate of 2.7%, which is 0 0.027, and we divide it by 12 to get the monthly interest rate of 0 0.00. Um, so 0 0.027 divide by 12, and that's 0 0.00225, right? Now 1 plus R is what? 1 plus this, 1.00225, right? And T is what? What's T? T represents the term of the annuity measured in months. How many months is this annuity going to last? In other words, how many months are you going to be retired for? How long are you going to live? How long are you going to be living off this? Right? Take the term of the annuity to be 22 years. So you're planning on living from 65 another 22 years, right? That gets you to 87. Let's hope you croak by, by about then, because if you live past here, all the money be gone, right? Yes, very funny indeed. Okay, so um, the term of the annuity is 22 years times number of months, 12, okay, which gives what? So that's 264, right? So we have R, we have 1 plus R, we have T. Now we can put it in the formula and calculate everything. So in here, 1 plus R is 1.00225. And we have 1 plus R to the power of T. So that's the power of 264. And then subtract 1, OK? And on the bottom, we have R, which is, again, parenthesis, and then 0 0.00225 times 1 plus R to the power of T. 1.00225 to the power of 264, right? So calculate the top, then calculate the bottom, and then see if we get the same answer. Well, we'll start with the top anyway. So press pause and calculate the top and see what you get and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and try to calculate the top. So I'm going to do it now. Once again on the top, we've got to follow PEMDAS. Parentheses first, then exponents and so on. So we go inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses we have an exponent and a subtraction. We must do the exponent first. So 1.00225 to the power of 264 equals that then subtract 1 and we get that number. We take this number and multiply it by 2800, so times 2800 equals this number. Write that one down, 2268.029929, okay? And now calculate the bottom. And once again on the top we could have just um, if you have a calculator that will do a one line entry, you could just write out the top and press enter and get that as well. So now press pause and do the bottom of the fraction and then check it. Okay, I'll do it now. So on the bottom we do have an exponent and we also have a multiplication. You must do exponents first. So 1.00225 to the power of 264 equals this number, multiply that number by 0 0.00225 and we get this and I've got a funny little um, negative 3 on mine and you might have that too and I'll just go quickly explain to you what that is. What this means is approximately 4.07 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and if you want to turn that into a regular decimal, 
you can find buttons on your calculator to do that like mode should help you do that or you can take this decimal point and move it one two three spaces to the left and put it here and now you have it as a regular decimal okay so that is 0 0.004072524 let's say right and then we just divide those and we should have our answer so 2268.0299 uh, divided by the bottom And we should get five five six nine one zero point one four four etc. So this is a big nest egg number. Let's round this guy to the nearest dollar, right? So round him to the nearest dollar and what do you get? Five hundred fifty six thousand nine hundred ten dollars right okay so let's have a look at the next part of this question and by all means you can press pause and try this yourself what monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement in other words to achieve this you want to get um, five hundred fifty six thousand nine hundred and ten dollars how much will you have to save each month month deposit each month while you're working to get that number and what formula do you need to do that have you got figured out by all means press pause and and do it if you want to so if you need reminded I'll remind you again what we need is the deposit needed formula okay so deposit needed is the goal what's our goal five five six nine ten plugged into this formula and that'll give us the answer right so again what we need to f for this formula is r one plus r and t and what are the these three numbers Press pause and calculate and figure out what those are. R, 1 plus R and T. And watch out for T because it's a different T than the previous calculation in the in, on example 10, on this example. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to show you now. So the interest rate we're assuming is going to stay at 2.7% the whole time while you're working, while you're retired, always. So whatever money you have, it's accumulating that amount of interest. So the interest rate is going to be monthly. It's 0 0.027 over 12, which as we know is 0 0.00225. Um, okay? And 1 plus R as we know is 1.00225. So the interest rate is going to be the same while you're retired as while you're working and it accumulates interest on money you have in your account. Now, what is T? So, this is the goal. This is the amount of money we want to get. 556,910. What are we trying to calculate? We're trying to calculate how many, or, or not so much how many, but, but uh, how much we have to deposit each month into our savings account in order to come up with this big number, right? So, what is the, the time we're thinking about here? What we're thinking about is the number of months we'll need to save while we're working to get this big number. Does that make sense? So this is a different T. This isn't 264. It's going to be a different T than the previous examples. You've got to watch out for that. This is the number of months we'll need to save, put deposits into our account each month to get this big number. Right? So what is that? How long are we going to be working for? You are 25 years old now and you plan to retire at age 65. 
How many years working is that? Write down the answer. How many years are you going to be working for? How many years are you going to be saving for for your retirement? Well, it's 65 minus 25, isn't it? Which is 40 years working. Right? So our T in this is 40 years. But it's we're depositing monthly. So this is we're looking for the monthly deposit needed. So we're talking about how many deposits all together? 40 years times 12 months, which is 480 deposits. We're going to make 480 deposits while we're working to get this amount of money. Okay? So we have R, we have 1 plus R, we have T. Please use this formula and get the answer. Okay, so I hope you've written out the formula anyway and you should have got 0 0.00225 and on the bottom parenthesis 1.00225 to the power of 480 then subtract 1 okay so that's what you should have for this now press pause and calculate the top and the bottom and see what you get okay I hope you press pause and tried it I'm going to do it now it's 5 5 oh five five six nine one zero times point zero zero two two five equals one two five three point zero four seven five and on the bottom one point zero zero two two five to the power of four hundred and eighty equals that and subtract one and we get that so um, okay. There we go. 1.94110.9289 and then divide those numbers and see what you get. So you might have got Six four five point five three one six etc. Round that to the nearest cent, and what's that to the nearest cent? Six hundred forty-five dollars fifty-three cent. Okay. So the point is, if we de work while we're working. 40 years, we're working for 40 years, we're going to deposit this into a savings account and um, that pays 2.7% APR and after 40 years we'll have this amount of money in the savings account and then when we retire we will get 2800 each month from that account. Okay.